Blitz off the corner. McCord throws that way out in the flat, a little bit low, but Harrison scoops. McCord from the shotgun, fires it over the middle. That's complete. And that's the first. McCord. Double clutches and then missed Henderson for every time you ask Steve Shaw to get that changed <laughs> that way. McCord got away. He's got good wheels. Got it down to the 35. Defense, a few of these plays, these six-yard scrambles. You've got high-powered receivers. This is a passing team now built to get the ball to the wide. McCord under center. The play fake. Quick throw out in the flat. First down and a bunch more. Scott, the tight end. And a first down for Ryan Day. You know, a little bit of that, I think, what is going to be the next wave of college football is the two tight end offense, the one that Georgia used last year. I think Alabama's going to feature more of it. You see Ohio State, it keeps the deep new guys. They got guys from the Big 12 from the MAC all over the place on that defense. McCord's got all day to throw, and he goes deep, and just over the option. Deep post, play action pass. One guy short, one guy behind it. I think he did have Marcus and Harrison short, but I don't mind him going for the whole throw on this one. Showed his arm on that one, that's for sure. Just threw the hands. Plays. Third down and ten. McCord. The throw is complete, but there's the tackle. Let one go here. He will, but it's a safe in tight on the right side. McCord. Over the middle. Abuka trying to avoid. Look at that. Look at that winning percentage of Ryan Days. Here's a flip. Too big for him, that's for sure. No, not at all. And he rifles one on a slant out to mid. They might have more fans here than the Hoosiers do. I don't know. McCord, this time they rattle him a little bit. He throws out. Ohio State. I mean, it's not just us. Every Ohio State fan watching this game is going and measuring this team today on how well they can play against Notre Dame in three weeks. That's right. Okay. So this road game. Down and two. They're going to throw for it. McCord across his body. Intercepted by the Hoosiers. No appeal. They've got a timeout left and 38 seconds to work. McCord got hammered as he threw. Oh, really? Incomplete. Oh, Need that. McCord down the middle. Got it to the tight end. Breaking tackles. Stiff arms his way. Paid Stover to the 21. Now remember the clock will stop. It's under two minutes. The old college rules take over. Easy pitch and catch here on this one. Wide open. Gets a great read. McCord. First down from the 22. Got it down. Oh, he dropped it. Great Incomplete. Hit. Yeah, great hit at the end of the play by Tate. The true freshman. Sanguinetti. He did have it. And oh, no, he dropped it. He dropped it before he brought it, before he was hit. But you're right, again, I mean, let's see. I don't know. They didn't just... 14 seconds left. Second down and 10. Buckeyes blitz coming. I'm a cord. Hit from behind. The ball is out. Casey trying to chase it down. I don't know if they're going to call us a fumble or not, but Aaron Casey thinks so. The rule on the field stands as an incomplete pass. It's third down. For Kyle McCord, pressure coming. And knocked down. What a play. Lewis Moore, he's been in on a lot of plays today. None better than that one. When you talk to the coaches, he was the one guy they said is really coming on for them in practice. Lewis Moore, former wide receiver. He was beat over the middle. Beautiful throw. I mean, you can't throw it any better than that. And Moore makes the play. If he doesn't, that's a touchdown. Seeming they're trying to slide to the linebacker, but he's beaten him to the spot. McCord on the slant, and that's broken up. Incomplete. And it's a three and out. Andre Carter, I think, is the guy that got a hand on it. Remember that after the first play was a nine yard gain. Indiana gets a three and out. The draw would change things for the Hoosiers for sure. Here's McCord on first down and a throw to Fleming. Game Buckeye, for the Buckeyes. Fans, Buckeye fans looking at those possessions going, oh, that's not what we were expecting. Here's tight end. McCord in the shotgun this time. Set the throw across the middle short, but Fleming swarmed under. One conversion on third down, and it's third and five here. Pressure coming. Going deep down the sideline. Contact back there. 
offensive coordinator this year. Whoa, what a throw down the middle that was, and now Fleming's in the open field. He's got it all the way to the 20-yard line. You're right, that was a great throw, but that time, Julian Fleming knew he was going to get hit when the ball was in the air. He could feel the crowd, and he stayed with it. Here he comes. He knows the good hit's coming, and he takes the catch and turns and goes up. I really like watching tape. Julian Fleming's going to have a nice, bright future in the NFL. That was the best throw of the day, I Absolutely. think, Absolutely. He's had a couple that been for Ohio State at the 19-yard line. Play fake, bootleg, throw on the runs, on the money to Stover. He's got a first down at the McCord looking for more. To the corner, knocked down. Nice. Third and goal at the four. McCord, quarterback draw all the way. Not going to get there. He went the wrong way. Draw. Up and go the other way. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, there was a lot of green right there. So that's going to bring out the field goal unit. Aiden Felding, who hit his first one of his stretch out. Farther to the bottom. McCord. Going down on the seams, got his tight end on the run. Stover still going all the way to the 25-yard line. Another good throw by Kyle McCord. I tell you, this guy can throw the football. 48 yards that time. Again, in my opinion, college football with the receivers they have right down the middle. That's very similar to that play against Georgia when Xavier Johnson took that one down the middle. Remember for the touchdown yeah. against the middle linebacker? This throw is a beauty right to Stover. 49. McCord, pressure coming from the backside. He comes the other way. And there's Marvin Harrison. Touchdown, Ohio State. And Into one the of the officials zone. doesn't have his hat on either. We get another look. Yes, he did step out. Yes. Eight yard line. He Offense. did. Stepped out of bounds. I was on the cord. Came back in as the first touch to pass. Please lost it down to the previous spot. Second down. That's a loss of down, too. So right there. He's not fighting hard enough. He gets pushed, but he does not immediately. And there's the numbers. Brown just played a couple of snaps so far today. And there's the throw too wide for Harris. Have you done for me lately? Third down and eight. Delayed blitz coming. Ohio State's line picks it up nicely, but McCord's in trouble anyway. And now he loads and goes sideline, and he completes it. And a Pickens to go across that field and look. Four-man rush, stop, and stone. Then he drifts out, and that's when the pressure comes, and he makes the throw after he turns to the left. Good execution by the quarterback to find his running back for the first down. And a pickup of 12, down to eight and a half. Cord, quick throw, out in the flat, complete, and another first down, and then some. Home games, only six this season. It's a big difference. Big, big difference. That is late throw, but complete. Quick play fake down to the end zone. A little too far for Stover. The cord on a wheel route, and he got it. Nice. A first down to Williams. Beautiful touch. Mayan Williams coming out of the backfield. We talked about how he breaks, breaks tackles, but this time a little wheel route. Try to pick, but there's nobody to pick on the play because it's a kind of a zone blitz, and he just takes him right off the beats him right off the bat. Got a 12-yard gain out of fourth and nine, and not only that, a first and goal. Throw to the corner, broken up, and it for Harrison. Yep. This time he's matched up against the number one receiver, everybody believes, that's going to be in the NFL draft. And Empty the backfield. McCord, right down the middle, almost intercepted by